Once we've created all our load cases and applied our loads to our model, it's important that we have the ability to define load combinations that will look at the combined effects of multiple loading scenarios happening at once. In this same model that we've been working with, we can go to the loads menu. And within this window, you can see here that we have a number of different load cases already created, but no load combinations. Now we have two different ways of creating load combinations. I can go to the edit menu and then load combinations. And I'll create one load combination this way. By specifying the description of the combination, I'm just going to give it the name 1.25 dead plus 1.5 live. Those are just the factors of each load case that I'm referring to. We can choose to activate or inactivate certain load combinations. If we had a lot and we didn't need to analyze them all, this might save us time during the analysis. We also have notional factors, and these can basically be used to sum up the total gravity reaction in the z-axis and assign a small amount in the x or y-axis based on this factor, and certain building codes may require you to do this. So it's available if they need it. Now just to the right of that, if I scroll over some more, here I can choose my load cases. I'm going to say self-weight, and I'm going to factor it by 1.25. Then I'm going to select dead load, and I'm also going to factor that one by 1.25. And lastly, live load. And in consistency with my name of my load combination, I'm going to factor this by 1.5. So this allows you to create load combinations, albeit with a small interface. I can press OK, and now I have one load combination created. Now I want to create one more, and to do this, I can just go to the geometry spreadsheet or sorry, the spreadsheet rather. And within the spreadsheet window, I can refer back to that load spreadsheet we talked about in the previous video. And now I'm brought to the load spreadsheets and there's this option for load combination spreadsheet. It's a big plus sign. And I can create a new load combination this way. I can go just press my mouse button or my keyboard button down to create a new row. And I enter the same information just like I did in the last example, so 1.2 or 1.0 dead plus 1.0 live. I choose the cases I want to contribute and their associated factors, and I'm all good to go. Now, if we had lots of load combinations, it may be tedious for us to enter this information every single way, or every single time rather. We can store this information in Excel and bring it in through Excel into this spreadsheet. There's also some load combination generators for certain building codes. So we can go, for example, with the MBCC building code and generate load cases and combinations this way. Another option is we can create a template Hell file, which doesn't have any geometry. All it has is load cases and combinations that are already created for us to our standards. We can then save that and import that into a model uh, by going to File Merge, something we'll look at in later videos, File Merge, and we'll be able to see how that can be brought into our model to speed up that process.